Voice acting blew everyone away when it was added to video games for the first time. But after a while, people realized that there are characters with annoying voices too. Today, GameRanks brings you 10 extremely annoying voices in video games. Number 10 of the grunts from Halo. These guys sound somewhere between the chipmunks and Beavis when he gets particularly hyperactive and excited. If I chase him, then I catch him, and then I don't know what to do. They also, for whatever reason, know English, and also are apparently aware of the song We Are the Champions. This would mean that Queen has reached a level of ubiquity that clearly no other band has, and that fictional aliens that want humanity dead are fans. Sadly, their terrible voices desecrate Queen's music, and they must be exterminated with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Number 9, Sheldon Thompson from Bully. Sheldon is... Uh, one of those kids who just can't talk without sounding horrible. Like he says everything in that certain specific tone where he's like, everything I say is like this. It's annoying when adults do it, but it's like 10 times more annoying when kids do it. Christmas sucks. I never get what I want. Never ever. Like, no, no, don't talk like that ever, please. Especially if you're under 11. Because, you know, we all have recordings of ourselves talking at some point in our life before our voice changed. And almost nobody likes it. Number 8, Johnny from Metal Gear Solid 4. Okay, no matter what, in any of the first four Metal Gear Solid games, there's nobody with a cooler voice than Snake. David Hayter is Snake. So, when Johnny comes up and talks like he's about to wet his pants to you, it's easy to understand why he sounds like 20 times more stupid than he actually sounds. Don't move. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful, I'm no rookie. I'm a 10-year vet. I mean, the guy's got a gun on you the first time you see him, so, I mean, he could be dangerous. But as far as what he sounds like, not a lot of worries. It's like voice is shaking the whole time he talks to you. It's basically a repeat of the first time you meet Meryl, except for he's got a much, much worse voice than Meryl. Number seven, Baby Mario, especially in Mario Kart. <laughs> Now, Baby Mario's speech is pretty limited outside of Mario Kart. I mean, it's not the most pleasant sound in the world, but to have the person who does all the Mario voice acting doing really bad falsetto versions of all that stuff, I mean, it feels kind of violating in a weird way, because you're used to Mario sounding a certain way, and then you're hearing that same voice doing it in, like, the most grating possible way. And it's like, Meh. Maybe I won't play as Baby Mario. Maybe I'll play as regular Mario. Number six, Claptrap from Borderlands, who can only be described as exactly what you don't want a robot voice to sound like. It's slightly sped up, not a lot, but some, and at the same time, it really sounds like they thought this was gonna be the funniest thing in the world. And in a lot of the game, there are a lot of very funny things. Borderlands is a really enjoyable and comedic experience. And Claptrap is one of the only things that misses the mark, but holy shit, does he miss the mark. Like in a game full of things that are legitimately funny, when something misses the mark, it's like 20 times more noticeable. Number five, Navi from Ocarina of Time, who has the worst voice and only says like a couple of things, but says them a million times. Hey, look, hey, watch out. Hey, listen. God damn, have I heard those things enough for a lifetime. And it's done in this borderline shout, but not quite, that is just like, it's it's just the level of what are you doing? Oh, and hey, every single time it says hey, it's the same hey. And I get that it was probably for space restrictions, but that was such a small, tiny little space restriction that you maybe could have splurged on, I don't know. Not that it would have made it a lot less annoying. In fact, maybe not even at all. It is one of the most annoying things that has ever happened in a video game. So who knows? Number four, XTO2 Deconstructor from World of Warcraft. I don't even know how to describe this character's voice. It's that bad. It's just an adult sounding like a kid. It's that same whiny tone from Sheldon from Bully, except for it's somebody doing it in the most intentionally annoying way. So tired. I'll rest for just a moment. I'm ready to play. No, 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 no. 
Like, it literally sounds as though they're mocking the person that has to record. The guy's in the booth like, this is how I make my money. Is life worth living? I don't know. I, 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 do, I just don't know. Number three, Titus from Final Fantasy X, who, let's just say this outright, is not perfectly acted. He's not the worst. I'm not saying it's the worst acting I've ever heard in a video game, but he's not among the best. In fact, he's not really even swinging ahead of the curve in any way, or at the curve. But he always talks like he's talking to a child. Like, oh, it's okay, bud. Like, everything he says sounds like that to me. Like, I feel like every single one of his lines could have bud or champ after it, and nobody would be like, I don't understand why he's doing that. And then there's the laughing scene, which any normal person sees that scene and goes, what is going on? This makes no sense to me. What has what is happening here? It's such a good game, but it's such a good game despite Titus, the main character that you hear talk more than anyone else. <laughs> Number two, Lux from League of Legends. And it's once again laugh related, however, this is not quite the same. Her laugh is actually kind of funny to me, but people spam it. And I suppose actually that's kind of funny to me as well, because when I hear somebody getting spammed with that laugh, I'm kind of like, eh, it's funny. But I know it's because it's annoying that person. In fact, most people are annoyed when people spam emotes. The reason it's funny is because it annoys people, but don't be a jackass. There's a line. Don't cross the line. <laughs> And finally, number one, Slippy Toad. Oh, Slippy Toad. Even when you were just gibberish, you were annoying. But it really isn't the Super Nintendo version of Slippy Toad that matters. It's the Nintendo 64 and on version of Slippy Toad that matters. First off, Slippy Toad sounds like he's on ecstasy all the time. And you could make a case for the more recent voice actor for Peppy Hair with his dull, bland, do a barrel roll that doesn't compare to the Nintendo 64 style southern accent do a barrel roll but slippy takes the kick in all of these games every time Slippy drives me up the wall. He gets in trouble all the time, and he always complains about it. It's like, dude, if you're so bad at this, please quit the elite team that for some reason we allowed you to be part of, or whatever. What video game voices annoy you the most? We're very interested. Leave us some comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week, and the best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at Falcon the Hero, and we'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.